Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So we do have a few fixes to talk about. One was a stealth nerf that they kind of did over the weekend to address the shaman issue. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly which one uh, they did. However, there are some people posting on the forums about it, so we'll definitely cover that. And as of yesterday of the... Uh, server going live after the maintenance we got some awesome thundering changes i did thundering last night and can confirm that these are live and active but before we get in the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so i am going to switch it over here to the blue post and while this is pretty short and sweet, it says the tier 2 belt tokens no longer drop in Blackwing Lair. Prince Thunderin still drops two belt tokens, and his single loot table for unique gear has been split in two. Developer note, the BWL change should result in players seeing more set pieces from other gear slots from Nefarian and the bonus chest. Prince Thunderin's split loot table now grants an extra item every kill. I think this is an absolutely marvelous change. I think since, at, at the very least, since they increased the difficulty of him, they should have dropped the two pieces. Um, having 20 to 40 people go in there and just get one piece of loot is really, really rough for a lot of people and classes playing the game. And his loot table is pretty awesome. There are a lot of items that drop off of it. It's like 15 new items that are really powerful and really nice. So it's good to see that this is being implemented for thunder and i am a thousand percent for this change now let's go up top here and this is someone talking about all the shaman nerfs they have done so the big one i believe they did over the weekend was riptide and earth shield uh stealth nerf 50 percent so they heal 50 percent less and this is to address a lot of people talking about shamans and the changes i think this is the one over the weekend this here is a shaman talking about all the things that they have done for the entire time so shamans have been nerfed uh their ap of rock biter they can't use wave of earth while dual wielding their movemental dexterity healing bonus can't use healing wave or chain heal with maelstrom weapon charges riptide stopped proccing power surge way of earth reduced uh, spell range to 20 yards fling tongue stopped increasing spell damage and less enchanted in the main hand riptide and earth shield healing cut by 50 percent now riptide does roughly 300 direct heal and 300 hot and earth shield does 152 heal so this is the one that they just did so that's important to note all these other ones happen throughout Season of Discovery and at different phases. Removal of the ability to use Shamanistic Rage while Sun. So Enhancement Shaman is the lowest DPS already in uh, already of the melees of PvE. It is now super crippled in PvP too. No defenses while Sun. No healing power bonuses. We have to choose between doing 700 damage with Lightning Bolt or 700 heal with lesser healing with 5 stacks of Maelstrom. Cannot use survivability rooms without being tank set up. Now we can't even use self heal with Riptide or Earth Shield and it's causing uh, causing its healing is 50% of a dot take crit. This is a bad joke and you should be embarrassed of yourself for destroying a class as much in PvP which was already the worst melee DPS in terms of PvE. You killed one class spec, very good job. The Paladin and Alliance lovers must be proud of you. So, obviously, there have been a lot of people talking about shamans being super OP and wanting them to change it. This is a perspective of a shaman here, as you can see in his frustration from the other end of that. And uh, I don't PvP, and I obviously am Horde, so I do have shamans with me. Um, I don't know. I don't think that they're that insanely overpowered. Like, every class has weaknesses. Every class can be killed. They're not gods. The most obnoxious things is all those paladins bubbling and running around doing anything. Like, if you encounter a paladin 1v1 in the world, you're just dead. Like, they just one-shot you. Especially as a mage, they can one-shot me. And anything I do, they just press bubble and they proceed to one-shot me. So that's been my experience. Obviously, everyone has their own experience. I'm sure shamans are annoying to fight and they can mess you up equally as well. Pretty much every class can kill every class. And so it's whoever really just pops their cooldowns first and cranks. Um, but... Uh, this guy said, did I mention Spearwolf's got a, he got 
Spirit Wolf's healing got an 80% cut as well. So even Spirit Wolf's got cut. So just a lot of stealth nerfs on the shaman healing side of things with enhancement shamans. So I guess that is all the PvP shamans. So your alliance finally got your wishes with that. Now back to the tier 2 thing. This is a... Uh, someone has a UI issue and fixing that. I'm not really too sure about that. Um, I don't have an issue with that at all. Um, then someone said, how about leave the tier 2 belts on Neff as well? Not everyone is lucky enough to receive a belt or the correct one they need from Thunderin. Also allow Core Forged back to Draconic. Most people can't use their new acquired tier unless they have a 6 piece of a new set without breaking MC tier. At least that allows some partial upgrades then do the full swap back to Draconic once you have everything or people can get bored of their tier 1 set bonus and want to try out tier 2 set without having to regrind the entire set. We already need to regrind for OS. No point to add on top of that is also kind of punishing for a lot of people who don't know they can't swap back it's like you guys are purposely making a back decision after another to make people quit <laughs> this dude talking about the shaman he said yeah that sucks i vote for shamans to have immune to all damage 100 percent without limit <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> um but to address this loot stuff here uh the tier two belts literally we are rotting them on every tier in my guild on both raid groups and we have we've done every thunder and lockout since it's been out on tuesday and monday so thunder and twice a week this is the fourth week starting today or well yesterday um so we've had eight kills and i'm pretty sure everyone has a belt um and we're giving them away for off spec so i think this belt change is definitely needed and they don't need to be on nef as long as you are an active raider getting gear you will be fine unless you are extremely unlucky with it um then allowing core forge back to draconic i'm kind of split on it um the tier 2 to tier 1 jump, the gear is just not that crazy. Like, it's not. The only thing that you go after is the tier 2 set bonus with the 6 pieces. Um, it's legit, like, a, an example, the jump on my druid is straight up, like, 15 armor, 3 stam, and 3 edgy between tier 1 and the MC tier 2. Um, so it's, like, not even close to anything that is kind of necessary for this so i really don't see the purpose of this um there are some matters of convenience that like are there and why you would want this however i think they went with this decision because swapping it would wipe your enchants and so people would have to get them re-enchanted and it would be such a big hassle and i think people would be pretty mad that they have to re-enchant it as well and i think with classic there's some permanence to your choices and that is something that is carried forward throughout all of classes and even in most of the seasons having choices be permanent um really do matter and i feel like that is very classic sort of core gameplay in the game and while this is a weird choice and i like at the end of the day i don't think it really matters too much to have it either way people just need to be aware of it and i've done my best to point it out i covered it in multiple videos leading up to this i think the the, the information is out there as well as you can literally just look at the vendor and see that you cannot trade it back and you even get a two hour window to undo your choice if you did mess it up so there's a lot there and it's kind of on you if you keep making this mistake um however it could be more intuitive i suppose but anyway, I want to go over here and show you guys the Thunder and Loot before we end the video. These are the ep like epic pieces that he drops. Some of these things are insane, like Echoes of Betrayal is awesome. Uh, Flash Rand is a good weapon. Lightning's Call is a great trinket. The Skywall Solus Mace is Healer Biss, like Priest Biss. This offhand isn't as good as AQ, but it's close. The Biss dagger this is spell power best for nearly every caster that can wield a dagger and this is the one that people really want it, look at that thing the thing it looks so sick it goes with the uh mage tier 2 so well i don't have the chest piece yet but i'll be looking sick if i ever do get lucky enough to get that i have the class web which is just slightly under it so i don't really need it right away um and then just a few trinkets this pole arm's pretty decent too if you're not getting into bwl it's a good one before you get your druid class weapon um really nice to see that wind wind strikers a really good dagger this pretty much gives you uh fell striker without getting it 
And then this Wrath of Wei is a nice trinket, and now uh, uh, warriors and strength users can actually trinket swap like mages do with Toab. So, anyway, guys, that is it. A lot of stuff here to talk about, a lot of opinions being thrown out there. I would really love to see how you guys hear it. I'm only a, a player who enjoys World of Warcraft. I can only share my perspective on these things and why I think that they're fine. Um, and, you know, I would love to hear what you guys have to say as well. But until next time, I truly hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, you. Yes, you. Are you still there? Well, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.